Heating your home. Cooking nutritious food. Providing safe drinking water for your family. Three basic needs in life that over 60% of people living in Sub-Saharan Africa must meet by burning wood fuel. For more than 660 million people, their most important energy source is charcoal or firewood. African cities are expanding rapidly as people move from the countryside in search of opportunities. This means an ever-growing energy demand from urban dwellers, especially in the form of charcoal. Supplying this wood fuel boom involves value chains that employ 195 million people. Production, transportation and trade of this valuable commodity provides regular and often vital income for communities across Africa. Yet due to poor governance and inadequate regulatory frameworks, the sector remains largely informal. When unchecked, harvesting of wood fuel can have negative consequences on forests and woodlands, leading to deforestation, forest degradation, and diminishing the ecosystem services they provide to communities. This is why C4 ECRAF, supported by the European Union, has identified high priority areas across sub-Saharan Africa with a view to develop more sustainable wood fuel value chains. An influx of people into an area can quickly increase the need for wood fuel. Since 2012, the arrival of thousands of Central African Republic refugees in Cameroon has led to a surge in wood fuel demand and widespread forest degradation. To help alleviate the pressure on the most affected areas near the border town of Garua Bulai, C4 ECRAF is developing model agroforestry systems with fast-growing species and food trees, as well as a business model and marketing strategy for improved end use, including cooking techniques, cook stoves, and commercial stoves. Also in Cameroon, in Douala, the country's economic capital, the growing population of around 3.6 million people has seen a rapid rise in demand for wood fuel and smoked fish. This threatens the mangroves of the nearby Wuri estuary, a vital ecosystem for biodiversity, which also regulates the local climate. C4 ECRAF, together with local partners, is supporting the development of fish smoking techniques that can reduce firewood consumption. This is coupled with improved wood extraction practices and the promotion of local management plans. Other activities involve working with a network of wood processing units to increase charcoal production from wood residues and supporting production of ecological briquettes from farm, household and industrial waste. Regulatory changes often mean that communities need to quickly adapt. Kitui County is traditionally one of Kenya's leading charcoal producing regions, but a recent charcoal ban and logging moratorium has put the livelihoods of thousands of people at risk, with many now forced to work illegally. To help inform future policy options, C4 ECRAF is supporting local communities to develop action plans for sustainable production, including better management of woodlands and more efficient processing and carbonization. For the inhabitants of Barungo County, an invasive shrub called Mathenge is causing increasing problems. But with C4 ECRAF's support, farmers are now controlling the spread of this invasive species by using it for sustainable charcoal production. Organizing and formalizing wood fuel production can lead to important efficiencies throughout the process. This is why C4 ECRAF have teamed up with the Forest and Farm Facility to support charcoal producers associations in the Choman district of Zambia's southern province. Their objective is to enable the implementation of more sustainable extraction and production methods, management plans, tree planting and improved carbonization. Also in Zambia, Assisted natural regeneration of trees is being explored in Mushindamo, Mufulira and Chelenge districts. Restoring degraded production sites is also important for long-term sustainability. C4 ECRAF is developing participatory forestry action plans with stakeholders in charcoal production areas to avoid further degradation of these woodlands. 
The city of Kisangani, Democratic Republic of Congo's third largest urban area, is a major wood fuel consumption center. The vast majority comes from the nearby landscape of Yangambi, an important forest area on the banks of the Congo River. C4 ECRAF is therefore introducing community-led agroforestry systems with fast-growing and indigenous species that can be used to produce charcoal. This activity is complemented by improved carbonization techniques that reduce the need for wood harvesting. A business model to produce charcoal briquettes is also being developed in Kisangani. It utilizes the residues from many artisanal sawmills that exist throughout the city. By developing evidence-based options and continuing to learn from their outcomes, C4 ECRAF aims to produce useful guidance to governments and other stakeholders on the solutions and conditions to develop sustainable wood fuel value chains in sub-Saharan Africa.